Hey there, Plevo customers. Hope you're well. We wanted to create a short video for you and walk you through the new and improved Plevo console so you can understand what's changed and know where to locate some of the key functionalities for your day-to-day -day operations. If you're already well-versed in the new console, feel free to X out of this video and carry on with whatever it is that you're doing. All right, let's begin. You've probably noticed that the new console has become the default experience upon logging in, which brings you to this dashboard. You'll immediately be able to view the status of your account, as well as your remaining Clevo credits and auto recharge details. And if you scroll down, you can also get an overview of your calls and SMS activity in the last 24 hours at the account level. The biggest change on this dashboard is on the left side navigation panel, which we have structured by product type including voice, SMS, Zentrunk, phone numbers, and flow. Further down, you will also find sections for docs, support, billing, and account. The docs section will navigate you to our API reference documentation. Support will automatically take you to our support portal and knowledge base. Billing will redirect you to all financial things related to your account, including payments and invoices, and the account section will help you view any of your account settings, including users, sub accounts, and login credentials. You can also switch over to any other accounts you have with Clevo using this setting. Next up are designated product interfaces. We have standardized the user interface across our products to create a unified system that provides you with an easier to use workspace. Let us use the Voice API product page as an example. Remember, all product pages follow a similar theme. Selecting this option from the left navigation panel takes you to the voice overview page. This includes a quick usage summary about the voice calls in your account. All components of your product application, such as configuring endpoints, viewing call logs, and setting alerts and geo permissions will nest within the left panel, here. We've also introduced some new features in the voice XML application overview page that we think can be very beneficial for you. If you need more room to work in the application, you can press this arrow, which will collapse the side panel. Hovering the cursor over any URL will showcase full details about the URL. Clicking on the application name now opens a new page with many more field inputs. You can also view the phone numbers and SIP endpoints attached to the application. You can also unlink them from the same page. As far as call logs are concerned, we've kept all the existing functionality intact. You can still filter call logs based on sub accounts, time of call, source and destination number, duration, hang up source, and reason. Some slight changes include clicking on the date and time of the call, which will automatically take you to the call insights page. You can also open debug logs to quickly troubleshoot application issues. You can choose to select and export some of the call detail records or all the relevant CDRs based on filter criteria. And lastly, you can view and edit any general and security related settings within the settings section. For the sake of time, we won't do a detailed demonstration of the messaging interface, but just a reminder that there is an option to configure power packs within the left panel of the messaging overview which means creating a number pool of multiple phone numbers to distribute your messages across for better scalability and deliverability. Before wrapping up, we also wanted to call out a few changes to the phone numbers product as it relates to the new console. You can now see the corresponding applications attached to a phone number within the Your Numbers section, including voice, SMS, or Zentrunk, or you can see if it has been configured using Flow. Upon purchasing a phone number, you will be alerted if further verification or documentation is required, depending on the country. Where applicable, you'll also have the option to attach the necessary documentation. As a reminder, we are always looking for ways to improve. We've made it easy for you to submit feedback by configuring a Help Us Improve button to the right of your account settings section. Please let us know what we can be doing better. And for anything urgent, or if you feel like you still have questions following this video, please contact our support teams at support.plevo.com. Thank you and have a great day.